Hey everybody and welcome back. So I know you're dying to know who won. Of course you already know because you've read the comments. There wasn't that many people that voted. I kind of, I kind of, uh, kind of guessed that would happen. Uh, so which one won? Number one. Option number one won. Um, not the sexiest uh, design, but it is definitely. Um, definitely going to be easier than the waves. I'll tell you that. Uh, I decided, as you can tell, to cope out the majority of the waste wood. I started filming this side and had some technical difficulties, so I went ahead and uh, stopped, fixed what was going on, and I'm pretty sure I lost that footage. So we're just going to continue from where I'm at now. <clears throat> uh, now I can use a coping saw to get most of it. It gets a little tricky up here. I got to kind of angle it just right and get the rest of it. Uh, and then I'll finish it off with um, finish it off with uh, chisels and and uh, rasps and file work of that nature. <laughs> Saw blade is not wanting to work with me. There we go. It's like a chunk of dust in there. So this this part. Now when I saw, I tried to do the saw, do, let the saw do most of the work. Um, I feel the slower I go with it, the or not, you know, I don't put a whole lot of pressure uh, in one direction or another. I'm paying more attention to where my lines are, um, and staying with my line and staying uh, parallel or perpendicular uh, to the sidewall, right? In this case. <laughs> can't use the whole saw uh, blade because of the backstop here but I'll work with work with what I've got all right now I'm kind of I went a little bit below the line here on purpose uh, but I'm right on the line here so I'm just gonna come up above it a little bit a little more in my comfort zone Remember that you're not roll. You're rolling this way, not this way. So just try to pay attention to that as best you can. And it's less fatiguing when you're not putting a whole ton of force this way. And I've seen people actually do like this, and I I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me, but. I usually just get like a little golf grip on it and go to town.
Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I sure hope you fast forwarded through that. Because that was, if it was anywhere near as boring for you as it was for me. Uh, then uh, it was boring. But <clears throat> this comes the fun part. The shaping. Or what I would consider as the fun part. For those of you that are new to this, this is called a file card. It's what you use to clean the chips and wood and metal and whatnot out of your files. Um, this is what's called a four in hand. You know, <clears throat> I prefer rasps to a four in hand, but a four in hand is nice. And I don't have uh, any rasps uh, to speak of anyway. Um, and what a four in hand is, is it's got coarse and fine. So you have flat, coarse, and fine. And then you have a, a rounded off fine and coarse, right? So, we have four in hand. You have four files in one, right? Um, other files that I use uh, in woods, metal files. They work great. Don't knock them. Um, so, I, I got a lot of this wood out. <clears throat> Obviously, with the, uh, with the coping saw. Now I'll just clean some of the dust out, see what we're left with. And we'll get to some chisel work. <laughs> As you can see here, that's where I started angling it up, so it, uh, it started uh, going kind of candy wop us on me there for a minute, but... It is what it is. Uh, I need to. I got it quite a bit here because I couldn't get close to the line. So. Just kind of chisel the chisel, chunk this away. I you can take this in big, big strokes or small strokes. If it feels like it's too much, then just take half the width of the board and uh, at a time. It's a lot easier that way. And obviously you have to go down here or you're going to mess things up. So we'll be going against the grain at that point. Alright, so that's all I'm going to do on that one section there. And we're going to be doing some whittling on this end cap here, so that's why I'm going ahead and taking off some of these big sections and we're just gonna get pretty even like we are here and then we're just gonna we'll feather it in from there but we're gonna follow that line follow the curve that we started <clears throat> still got a little work to do over here this is the part I like. I like, uh, you know, doing this this uh, this part of the the job. I don't I don't much care for sawing, uh, not with a coping saw anyway. But this this part is enjoyable for me, but can be tedious. <clears throat> uh, you always want to make sure that you're going 
Uh, I guess the best way to say it is with the grain or down the grain. You know, if the grain, um, if the grain is running, uh, well, let's see. If the if the grain is this way, you can't you can't come up this way with a chisel. You know, like if the grain's here, you can't come up with this way, or that it's going to split the whole piece off. So just be careful of that. Be careful where your grain is and how it's running through the board. And mine's pretty straight, so I can kind of go either way. And the wood will tell me which way it wants to go. I'm not taking big chunks out here either, so. And then once I start going uphill, then I, I have to go, I have to turn around. I'm just basically just barely cleaning it up because I was really close to the line here on this side. So I'm just going to clean it up barely. And then I got away from the line right here. So let's see if we can. As another thing, my the, the perfect tool for the job is a spoke shave, but the, the board here won't let me get uh, the right angles that I need, so it's kind of messing with me. And this here is a, this is a record, uh, a record A151 uh, made in England. And all of this, just like your regular 151 uh, flat bottom. Only it's got a round belly on it. So, nothing too fancy there. There you go. So it's not not real radical belly on it, but it's got a belly. I'm just trying to come out here. I don't have it clamped down very tight. It's tight enough. Same thing with the spoke shape. What you have to pay attention to as you do with the chisel, and that's to know your grain. It'll tell you when you're going against the grain. spot and just keep looking at my lines that's all I'm doing now I can transition over to flat bottom now this part can get a, a lot trickier Because it's in grain, it's a little bit, a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I 
think we're at a point now where we can go to the four in hand. We'll go with the the rough side right here, and then we can go straight to smooths. my thumb you can feel most of the irregularities with your fingers your fingers can feel up to a thousand thickness how well a metal file works on wood. Not turning out too bad, huh? smooth it out a little bit. I still got a little work to do right here. It's kind of rough too.
smooth like this now I can feel really good for them high spots and bumps <clears throat> I don't want to get it perfect that's not the, the objective just so that it's a nice even flow and we're gonna blend in that point That's so one side almost done. Thank <laughs> you. 
we'll call that roughed out. Obviously, keep you guys along for the whole ride. That would be murder. But, alright, went from that, right, to that. Cool, huh? I think that turned out alright. Still got a little more work to do on her. Uh, what I may do is kind of incorporate the two. As you can see, this one is just a little bit different angle. I haven't rounded off that the very tip of it. But if I go in a little bit further, it might look like just one little wave, one little swell. Kind of rolling right through there. That might be a nice touch. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, I really, really like it. Digging it. So, if you're digging it, digging what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. I know that was pretty long and boring, but that's the shaping process, you know, cutting out uh, a shape and chiseling it away little by little, filing it down, sanding it down, whatever you got to do. Now I just got to do the other side and uh, we'll be set. I'll be able to apply the finish tomorrow and put her little ass to work. And you guys will finally get to see the treadle stone all finished up. Turning out all right. Turning out all right. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow I'll put the finish on and I don't know if I'll bring you along for the actual application of the finish, but you get the idea. I'll finish it and then maybe show it off. Uh, but I've got a ton of work to do tomorrow, so we'll see how we'll see how much uh, how much we can get done on this tomorrow. I still got to finish up the other side tonight before I go to bed, so. Till tomorrow, friends and family, I love you. Everyone else, I'll see you tomorrow.